A harsh winter blows not to bother you. It only blows cold. Um, and cold might bother you. And that's that's too bad if it does because it's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament and it's getting cold. And you know who doesn't like the cold? Tater as in tot. Cold makes her miserable. And we're about to have to resolve this um, this objective which makes it so that misery is even worse than it normally is because you are trying to get rid of your misery. And if you're trying to get rid of your misery and you fail, you become even more miserable because it, yeah, anyway. I don't have any more, anything more to say about that. So we gotta deal with the cold, we gotta deal with the misery, we gotta deal with the wounds, and it's just, it's, Sonny's not going to worry about that stuff. He wants to get this place patched up. He wants to make it secure. So he's going to go poke about so that he can find some um, components and some wood. He got one wood or one component. He is going to get a wood because he really wants there to be um, patches on these holes. He does not like these holes. He wants those holes patched so the place is more secure and less cold uh, bothers you if the place is more secure. Um, Tater, for her part, she is going to drink her alcohol and improve her misery. Now, her misery is at three. If it got to four, she would fall into a depression. So we're gonna get this misery here and put that there. And then what does she want to do? Oh, it raises her fatigue to two. So she's gonna go take a nap and get rid of her fatigue. And that's what they'll do for their first action. Their second action, um, Sunny does not have a second action. Tater, Sunny says you should board it up. Can't really make a lot else with the components that we have. So she could call for more help. Let's see. Fast, industrious, sense. yeah, okay. Yeah, she's gonna do it herself. She's gonna take his suggestion. One component, four wood. We're gonna board up this hole here. It's unsightly. No one likes a big hole in one's abode. And that will be the end. No, she's good, because she got rid of her fatigue. So she has one more action. What will she do with that? Now maybe she will go out and try to find someone else because Dick is not a lot of help. And having just two people is difficult. Let's see if she gets shot. She does not get shot. Visitors, gossip. Look at the top card from one of these decks. That does, that's not very satisfying. Your neighbors pay you a visit. Your neighbor he wants to share some information. All right. Um, Look at the locations deck. That's not that interesting. Night raids. Let's look at night raids. That seems like it's the most hobos. Okay, so not much trouble tonight. Hey, I hear some hobos are coming. All right, we're going to move on. Go here. Go here. Time for a bit of scavenging. We were hasty. We remember the snipers, so we're going to flip it. Um... He has a better chance of avoiding snipers, Sonny does, because he has a higher prowess. So, and we know that there's hobos. That was really actually helpful that we, we got that gossip. Um, so Sonny is gonna be doing the exploring this time. And he's going to the garage again. Why not, you get more exploration cards. There's not, I guess vegetables, pretty useful. But no, nope, he's going to the garage. He likes the garage. She's going to defend. Dick, again, is going to just sit there. Um, everyone got fed. And so... Oh, water-wise, um, he took a hunger, she took a hunger, and Sonny raised his misery, which could be a big problem because he's almost ready to commit suicide. All right, so let's explore. So we got a hiding place. So Sunny could return two hiding or two exploration, two hiding cards, two exploration cards, and save it. 
you use this for a hiding place. All right, so Sunday chose to take this hiding place. Basically what it does is he can return some cards to get this hiding place, and then he can use this hiding place to deal with residents. He can either backstab them or he can uh, void them altogether. All right, does he want to raise the noise by one? Roll for noise. Or look first? I think he wants to look first. Sonny is a little more careful. So he's going to return this card and look at what the next card is. It's another hiding place. Okay. And he's going to raise the noise by one. And just keep going. It's a hiding place. So he could return two exploration cards to have another hiding place. Does Sonny want two hiding places? I don't think he does. So he's going to um, just keep going. Search the heap. He's going to raise the noise by one. Mm. And roll for noise. He has a hiding place. He's not scared. Oh, there could be a resident. There is a resident. It's civilians. So the only problem with the, the civilians that showed up is that if he takes something with a, a look from a location marked private, he has to roll his empathy. It's, he's pretty unempathetic, so I don't think that's going to really matter too much. Um, and he can also talk to them or trade with them. Trading can be really useful because you can trade stuff you have for stuff that you find to be more valuable. All right. So he rolled for noise, um, but he can get something from a heap. So we have an electrical part, a filter, a shell, and something else. Let's roll for what the something else is, and I'm going to add stuff to the findings box off camera. There's nothing. All right, let's keep exploring. He can always go back and talk or trade with the civilians later. Uh, he's not that interested in doing that now. Bars. Are there bars here? There are bars. So we are kind of stuck. And if there are no bars, if there are bars, you may resolve this card immediately or place it and resolve it later. Okay, so you can, you don't have to go through the bars. It's just you get a little, you get a bonus kind of room you can go in if you go through the bars. So we'll put that to the side and keep exploring. Rubble, there is rubble here. So you can dig through, return one exploration card, raise the noise by one, and roll for noise. Um... Yeah, I think he'll do that. Raise the noise by one. Roll for noise, he's still okay. So we get to add five cards to the deck. And two finding cards. Three, four, five. Two finding cards, which are heaps. He gets two heaps. A broken pistol and ammo. Okay, so that would be useful if you could fix the pistol. And then a broken guitar and a shell. Okay, so I'm going to add those to his findings, and then we'll move on. All right, I was doing some exploration off camera, got a few more things, not much. Uh, drew some things that he already had, and there were no more counters available, so you're just kind of out of luck when that happens. So kind of disappointing, but he's got a good haul too, so that's, that's actually, he's blessed by riches, cursed by riches. All right, then we got a reality impact. So we had to draw this. Go to 606. Let's see what 606 says. Finally, we realize there's something not quite right here. We can see some kind of mist or smoke in the air. Our heads start hurting. Okay, so get out of there as soon as or as quickly as possible, or it's a risk worth taking. Well, Sonny is not one to take huge risks. He is gonna get out of there. Return four of these cards. Four. That gives him one card left. He's already full up on stuff, even if he uses this through the sewers card, I bet. Um, so he's going to talk to the civilians. So I'm going to turn to that page and get back to you. He opted to trade with them. Instead, he got some coffee and cigarettes, traded in the broken gun. He figures he has a gun. He doesn't need another gun, All right? And he also brought down the weight so he, of the things that he has. So he can bring everything back with the help of this through the sewers card. And so he's got coffee for Tater, an extra cigarette for um, for Dick or for himself. They both are smokers. Um, so let's go on to night raids. And we already remember it. So these hobos, right? 
So they're going to take three tokens unless she can mitigate that with her hatchet. So you're supposed to put the hatchet here, but I just know that the hatchet's there. So I don't have to put it there. I just know it. Okay, so she has this thing. So we could trust fate and see what that does. Or she could roll again. I think she'd like to roll again. She'd rather be certain about what's about to happen. And nothing happens. So they're going to take three things, the three most expensive things. Um, I assume she has the hatchet with her, so they don't take that. Uh, but they are going to take the herbal meds, which hurts. And... I guess a weapon part. Okay. So that's a bummer, but at least no one got hurt, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, the hobos leave the game. The, the, weaker, the weaker night raids uh, leave the game afterwards. So let's have Sunny move back, and then we will f go into Dawn. I think um, Tater might invoke her power to remove some of her misery. Unfortunately, we are not going to have what it takes to get rid of this misery. Unless... Yeah, there, we don't... He should have bought some moonshine. That's what he should have done. He should have bought some moonshine. He would have had to get a lot of moonshine, though, to, to change things. Should we go back in time and have him trade things for moonshine? And get a bunch of moonshine? Is that a good idea? How many moonshines can we get? Can we even get enough? So we don't have any alcohol. I think there's only, like, two moonshines in the game, so that's not even going to be enough, because we got to get it down so that they're all below two. She can move hers below two. Dick could with one moonshine, but then we would need two more moonshine. So it's not even worth kind of like going for that. And then we'd just be really fatigued to moonshine really ups your fatigue. So that's fine. We don't have to travel through time. We can just keep going. Um, move Sunny back. Oh, Sunny did get a saw blade too, which is great because there's these bars here with some furniture right behind it. And with the saw blade, you can get rid of those bars. Um, I'll move this stuff back in a moment. Let's see, is there anything else we need to do? She needs to get rid of her misery. And she's going to have a fatigue. And then we will go to fate. What does fate say? Raise the wounds of all wounded and unbandaged characters by one. That is going to do it for Dick. I guess we could have got the moonshine for the other people who weren't about to die. That probably would have been smart. But we did not. Um, Four or more raise the illness of all characters by one. Four or more. It's, oh, nope, because it's boarded up, it's not going to raise their illness. That's really good. Um, what else? Exchange, the, again, small locations. But this time we get to exchange the medium location. Goodbye, garage. We've spent a lot of time at the garage. Now we're going to go to an abandoned cottage, maybe. Here's a small location. No weight tokens, the A's. Okay, so here's where this kicks in. She gets to drink some coffee in order not to lose her, not to become more miserable. And he can have a cigarette. There we go. He'll smoke the communal cigarette, keep his private cigarette to himself. And anything else? We'll see what our narrative things are. Like a mouse or handyman, you can break, you can fix any any one thing. Set the noise marker to one. Now the handyman can be really helpful, but oh, you know what? I think I didn't shuffle it last time. I just set it on top and I was like, oh, I'll shuffle this later. So here's here's something, a feature that we like to do in the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Meg Tournament, which is poorly shuffle cards for the for your voyeuristic pleasure. Okay. Then we'll draw two cards for real. I didn't like that handyman one, especially now that we have a broken guitar. The guitar can be really useful dealing with misery if you have the right characters. Rumors, play at any time. Take a look at the top card from any two of the following decks. Could be fun. And then... Ooh. They can perform all of their actions again, as if it, it was the day actions phase. Wow, that sounds way better than looking at a couple cards. Though that can be useful. Okay, I'm going to put it that way to remind myself I put it on top. can be useful. I don't know how useful it is. So, this is sad. Dick had that moment of luck, and we thought maybe things would be okay. We didn't get any bandages in all our explorations. Sonny got a lot of stuff. Some of it I already moved back. But it wasn't enough to save poor Dick. I'm not going to read the stuff in the 
the book about them dying. I found them really unsatisfying. I think they would be satisfying if you really got to know the characters more during play. But, like, um, Desi's character, you didn't know he had a wife and kids. You could have gotten a, a, something that talked about it. And maybe if you played this game a lot of times, you would start to get a feel for the characters. But, honestly, the book stuff, especially character-specific, doesn't come up that much except in their death. Um, I guess maybe that does something to humanize them, though, uh, beyond the thing. Be like, oh, this man, he was a father, and he lost his kids and his wife. But now we lose someone who was kind of like a father to me. Um, Dick, tall, sensitive, sexy. You were one of the characters that really always stood out. I could always remember your name. For that, I thank you. It makes it easier if I can remember people's names and I don't have to read the backs of the cards as often. I kind of knew who you were from the get-go. And you're someone if I met in real life, I might not, I might like uh, be prejudiced against. But I think if I really got to know you and now that I have, I think you're actually an okay guy. So, bye Dick.